What's up guys? Okay, for my subscribers that don't really care about this kind of fight, I apologize to you guys. I understand what you guys are thinking, but I got a lot of requests giving my honest prediction and brief breakdown on this KSI versus Logan Paul amateur boxing fight, which is the biggest amateur fight of all time, regardless of what you think of it. And these guys are actually going in there. They have trained. I have a lot of respect for that. They have trained for a real boxing match, and they're actually going to box each other. Now, when I actually look at this one, and I look at the first fight of KSI, and I look at his training videos, his sparring videos, as someone who predicts and breaks down the highest level of combat sports, and for someone who has trained for several years and still trains, I'll give you guys my honest prediction and breakdown on how this fight should go. With KSI, he loves to use his range, especially with that Joe Weller fight. He loves to keep his lead arm forward, very similar to what Conor McGregor does in MMA and some other fighters like that. A lot of karate fighters utilize the same technique, and it is to measure distance, keep range, and measure specifically for his power hand, which he threw the entire fight. The right hook, right uppercuts, and right straight. Those are his power punches. Those are the punches he's always seeking to land. Now, he cannot fight that way against a guy like Logan Paul, who is going to be much bigger than him, as well as having the range with that height. So the fact that Logan Paul is going to be longer than KSI, KSI is going to have to find a way to work on the inside. He's going to have to find a way to enter through that long range that Logan Paul is going to have on him and work on the inside with close range boxing. And the best way to do that is enter behind his jab. Throw the lead jab at Logan Paul and use his footwork to enter behind his jabs, almost masking it. And he's going to want to find those power shots in close range. He's going to want to find specifically an overhand right would be a good punch for him since he is committing a lot with his right hand. So an overhand right, it works very well against a taller fighter. He could also work the body, left hook or left uppercut to the liver, which is usually more exposed on the right side of the body. That can work as well. Jabs to the body is also a very effective way of getting inside that range. It's a very hard punch to counter, especially for a longer fighter. But he's just going to have to really worry about that jab and also the straight right hand of Logan Paul. Logan Paul does not too much to go by. We have seen a sparring video of his. We have seen some training videos of his. And the thing that's going for Logan Paul here is he sticks to the fundamentals a lot more. KSI, he doesn't have the basics down. Even compared to a guy like Logan Paul. When you look at some of the mitt work from Logan Paul and some of his training videos, he's always having his hands up. He's always guarding his chin and everything is coming straight, right? He's not flaring out his elbows that much when he's throwing punches like KSI does. This is a very obvious sign that Logan Paul is going to have an easier time learning boxing than a guy like KSI. And the reason for that is when you do some research on Logan Paul, he has a background in wrestling, right? Amateur wrestling, did it in high school. I don't know about college, but he has done it in his life, right? He has wrestled plenty of times. And what he learned in wrestling, the tenacity, the rigorous training, the hard work, the mindset going into a competition like that, a combat sport competition, it's already ingrained into his memory. He already knows what he has to do to do what he did in wrestling mentally and bring it into boxing, which is why he's going to learn at a faster pace than KSI. He already has that tough mentality built into him. So when I see some of his mitt work, when I see some of his training videos, and I see that he is more fundamental, and he has a better grasp at it than KSI already, it's not surprising to me. And what you see from KSI is low hands, flares out his elbows on his punches. When he retracts his punches back after he throws them, they're not coming back to his stance. He drops all his punches, which leaves his chin exposed. So if Logan Paul is able to bait out some of those punches, maybe use his range to get some reaction out of KSI to make him throw a punch, he can counter KSI every single time because that chin is exposed, his hands are dropped. KSI is going to be a little bit quicker, I think, with his footwork especially. And you could tell even from the sparring video of Logan Paul when he dropped that one guy, he dropped the sparring partner, he has the mentality. He has the mentality, if you throw punches at him, he's going to throw punches back at you. He has that brawling and competitive mentality, even under punches. He's much more composed under the shots than KSI is. When I saw some of the sparring from KSI, I don't know if it's just he's almost starstruck in a way, or I would say he knows he's competing against a higher level boxer. So he knows what he's not capable of in there. But when he's getting hit, he doesn't really throw back. And this is going to be a dangerous thing if they start exchanging with each other, seeing that Logan Paul is the bigger guy. 
He is going to have the weight advantage. He's going to have more power in his punches. He may not be as fast. And I don't know where his cardio is really going to be at. I'm not going to question it that much. Does it look like a pretty fit guy? He has done wrestling before and nothing in combat sports is more energy draining than wrestling. So I think he will be fine with the cardio, especially with an amateur boxing fight. It's not that long of a fight. So that goes to my prediction. I have Logan Paul winning this fight. I think it won't be that hard for him. He might get tagged here and here, but I see him being willing to take the shots. I just see him being a little bit too physical for KSI. And I ultimately see that mentality of his coming into this fight and taking over the fight. I see his fundamentals trumping the unorthodox or unconventional style of KSI. Everything down the middle, everything in tight, everything more correct in the textbook will ultimately get his punches on the inside of KSI's looping punches. He's going to have the power as well. and He's going to try to force an exchange with KSI and he's going to win those every single time. I'm going to actually going to go by a finish, but I could see this going to a decision. I see this possibly ending later in the fight. So I hope you guys enjoyed the prediction video. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.